I have not done a 1 to 700 video in a couple of weeks now, but I've noticed that people are really looking for help when it comes to beating the first, second, and then maxing in the third C. So to help those people out, and of course help any of you that maybe missed these things, I'm going to go over five things that you have to have before you leave the first C. And if you don't have them, jump in your boat, talk to the captain, get back to the first C, and unlock these items or abilities. Guys, the update is coming, so I'm going to sporadically continue doing these giveaways, but leave a like on today's video and comment down below for a chance to win permanent dough fruit. I'll pick one of you, as long as we get more than, say, 7,000 likes. You can also use code MAGIC and subscribe to the channel. We're going to try and talk about these in order of their relevance, so let's start off with number five, the fifth most important thing. This is probably the most obvious one on the list, but that is your Gepo, your Flash Step, and of course your Armament Haki can all be unlocked here at the Ability Teacher. You should be able to afford all three of these at around level 100 to 110, 120. You should get it all done before you head off to Marine Ford to start grinding over there. For those of you who don't know, the cave is right here. It's on the Frozen Village Island. Very early game stuff, but super important. Now, you should also know to buy a Devil Fruit. I shouldn't have to tell you to try and get a low gear Devil Fruit to make your life easier or get the Buddha. That's not why we're here. One of the most important items that people miss in the first C because they think they're going to get Yaru or they're saving up for true triple katana or something like that is, of course, the Saber Sword dropped by the Saber Expert level 200. I usually do this at around 250 whenever I'm building new accounts. You've got to complete the Saber Expert puzzle, which starts here on the Jungle Island. The Saber Expert puzzle will show you everything that you have to do, guys. It'll show you each button to press in order and then give you a map of where all the buttons are from a bird's eye view. It'll show you the underground chamber that unlocks after you press all the buttons. This is where you can pick up your flaming torch. Head over to the desert and you go into this house here by the pyramid. You burn the curtain and you'll find yourself a cup. Go back to the cave where you purchase your Gepo, your Armament Haki, and your Flash Step. There's a dripping ice stalactite there. If you stand under it, it'll fill your cup with water. Once you've filled the cup up, go up to the top level of the frozen village. There's a house there by the sword dealer expert, and you'll find a sick man inside. Help him. He'll drink from the cup. He'll tell you to go and talk to his son in the pirate village. The sun will tell you you got robbed. You get to go and fight the boss on the little island just north of the pirate village. Go back. He'll give you an ancient relic and you can use that to open the cave to access shanks. Super fast, super easy way to do it. Just go to this guide, follow it for yourself. Now you don't need to do this, but you can unlock Saber version 2. Once you have more than a million bounty, if you get a PvP kill, your Saber will upgrade to Saber version 2. I don't even have Saber version 2 because I had Yoru. But on most of my accounts, I get Saber version 2. It's really good for grinding if you want to use a sword or be a sword main. Don't underestimate how great this is until you start getting the legendary swords in the third C. Or if you bother to grind true triple katana in the second C, which is also better than the saber now even if you didn't want to use the saber you still had to get it because without the saber you cannot talk to the lord of destruction usopp here once you've unlocked saber at least version one he will sell you observation hockey you've got to have observation hockey it's the good stuff man this is what keeps you alive in the game all right since you're already over here in skype here anyway you might as well also head down and follow the waterfall down to the bottom here because behind these rocks over here are one of the most important fighting styles you can get. Obviously, you need to do all of them to unlock Superhuman and then Superhuman version 2 when it comes out. But if you just want to do one fighting style, then I recommend going to the Mad Scientist and picking yourself up Electric. Once you get 400 Mastery in Electric, you can unlock Electric Claw, which is considered one of the best fighting styles in the game. It's very easy to use very easy to pvp with and it's great for grinding and for traveling before we get to the final accessory one press like subscribe but let's check out some honorary mentions that you also should not miss if you're in the pirate village and you haven't already make sure you visit your boy sanji down here and make sure you get that dark step fighting style if you are super super early game 
you've just started over here grinding. You don't have a good accessory yet, but you've got 50,000 belly to spare. Head over to this tower right here. Climb down the ladder. Talk to this guy. 50,000. You get yourself a black cape, which is plus 100 health, plus 100 energy, and then plus 5% to all attack styles. Doesn't matter if you melee, fruit, or sword. Another one worth remembering is heading over to the back corner behind... I don't even know what this thing is. It's the place where the fish boss is. Head over into the back corner here, this very obvious looking wall. Run through it, talk to this guy here, and make sure you get yourself water kung fu. All right, honorable mentions are out of the way. There are other things worth getting, like maybe the pink spiky cloak, or the cape from the vice marine admiral, or even going and awakening your Bacento by defeating Whitebeard. But the ones that I showed you are the ones that I prioritize when I'm building an account. Here is the number one most important thing I think you can try and get from the first C. If you get unlucky, this could take quite some time. But of course, if you want to defeat Frankie over here, you can get yourself the cool shades. I don't know if I already have them. So let's just hit Frankie a little bit. Or should we get lucky on video? Okay, I guess I didn't. The cool shades, which are a less than 2% drop chance, unless of course you have the game pass for double drops when you give you like a 4% drop chance. These are considered the best accessory you can get from the first C. They buff you with 17.5% movement speed increase, a 7.5% increase universal damage, so for all styles, and then 100 health and 100 energy. They're basically a stronger version of the black cape, plus 17.5% increased movement speed. If you have cool shades, you are good to go. So those are the five items that I think are the most important for you to unlock or get as drops during your time in the first scene. And if you don't have them and you're struggling for an accessory or a sword or you're missing observation hockey, come back get them because they are worth the time investment they will make your life so much easier if i had to say which one was the most important it's definitely hucky geppo flash step and then observation hucky these are things you use through the entire game no matter what level you are but who knows maybe i missed something and if i did let me know in the comment section down below what is an item accessory feature that you would unlock in the first c that you simply cannot live without no matter where you are in the game let me know. And of course, if you're going to leave a comment, leave your name, leave a like. That way you have a chance to win the permanent dough fruit. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. A little bit of a quick one, but that's because I'm working on something else awesome on the side. And I needed a quick, simple video that could help you guys. And also let me grind on this other vid. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, use code MAGIC by UGC, and I will see you all next time.